Good morning everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to do kind of a spin-off on a video I already did with Dr. Claire called All About Hydroquinone. So I want to talk about my personal journey with melasma and how I keep it at bay. I don't know if you can see any melasma on my face. I do have a little bit starting to come back here and here, and I do have this lovely spot here. So I want to talk about my journey with melasma. And I encourage you to check out the All About Hydroquinone video with Dr. Claire also, because there is so much helpful info in there for you. Okay, so I got melasma when I was around 26 years old. I was on vacation with a girlfriend, um, and I did not take very good care of my skin at that time. I don't think I even wore sunscreen. Horrible, I know. Um, and we were laying out in the Dominican Republic. We were basking in the sun. I was not wearing a hat, sunglasses, no sunscreen. And my girlfriend looked over to me and she said that there was a piece of dirt on my forehead. And I was like, oh, and I just started rubbing my forehead. And she was like, no, it's still there. It's not, it's not coming off. So I went to the bathroom and I was like, oh, there's like a dark brown circle on my forehead. And I started scrubbing like crazy, it wasn't coming off. The vacation continued and I was like, this is really weird. I clearly need to go see um, a dermatologist when I get home from vacation. And as the vacation continued, these dark brown spots started appearing all over my face. I was convinced I was dying, positive, positive it was the end for me. I went to see a dermatologist, which wasn't Dr. Claire yet. Um, I hadn't met her yet. And the dermatologist said, oh, you, you have melasma. Didn't know what that was. They prescribed bleaching pads, 4% hydroquinone for me. They did not really work um, very well. For some people, you just need a stronger dose of hydroquinone. I, of course, didn't know that at the time. I religiously used the 4% hydroquinone I was instructed to take breaks as we talk about in the other video you must cycle on and off of hydroquinone regardless of whether it's 2% hydroquinone or 12% like I use now you have to take breaks the reason is there's something called ochronosis that can happen which is the darkening of the skin the exact opposite of what you want hydroquinone is not safe for long-term use you just want to be on it uh, short term we talk about cystamine in the other video also which is a wonderful alternative that is safe for long-term use you do not have to cycle on and off of that. Then uh, I tried some laser treatments, which worked very well for my um, melasma. I did Fraxel Dual, but because my melasma is hormonal, it came right back after about four or five months um, after the laser treatment. And then in the next uh, couple years, I just kind of dealt with having uh, pretty intense melasma. It just became, you know, a part of my face. And that was around the time when I started making uh, TikTok videos and people started telling me that I should try this new company called Muesli, that they have a hydroquinone that they prescribe that is 12%. So I ordered it. This is what I got. It's Muesli the Spot Cream, and this is what I have used for the past couple of years. Again, I cycle on and off of it, and I have not used it in about a year, which is pretty amazing. I'm gonna pop up some videos and pictures here so you can see my before and after with using this product. This video is not sponsored by Muesli. Um, this just happens to be what I use. So if you happen to have the spot cream or you're interested in it, let me tell you how I used it and some things that might be helpful to you if you're going to start using it. Don't mind the color of my bottle. It is super discolored from my blue carrying bag that I keep it in. There's Nothing wrong with it. <laughs> Something really important with hydroquinone is you want to start using it alone. If you're using retinoids or chemical exfoliants at night and then you're going to start using hydroquinone, you want to stop the retinoids and the chemical exfoliants for, I think I stopped for about two weeks to let my um, to let my face acclimate to the hydroquinone alone. And something that happened that happens to a lot of you because you message me is when you start hydroquinone, especially at such a large, um, such a high percentage, your skin might get very, very red and irritated. That is normal and it's very important that you only use hydroquinone at night and that you use your SPF during the day. I was kind of red and blotchy in the areas that I put the hydroquinone for about three or four days. Also, you know, that's why you you don't want to be using a retinoid or a chemical exfoliant at the same time as you're acclimating to this. You're going to treat this just like any other active. For about uh, the first two weeks or so, I would wash my face at night, do my under eye cream, 
Um, and then I would massage the hydroquinone just into my dark areas. Now, Muesli is wonderful. They have an app where you can talk back and forth to a dermatologist and the dermatologist might tell you something different. He might, they might tell you to use the spot cream all over your face. Mine instructed me just to do it in my really visible dark spots because my melasma, it was not covering my whole face. It's really just, I have a spot here and then a, uh, a half moon on my forehead. So that is where I was instructed to massage in the spot cream, like a, a pea-sized amount-ish, massage it in, really, really massage it in, wait five minutes and cover with moisturizer. And I did this every night for about two weeks. Y'all, my camera battery just died, so I'm gonna finish up this video on my phone, but do you like the way the phone looks better or the camera? I can see myself so much better on the phone. Did I waste a ton of money buying that camera? So after 30 days, I saw a big difference. After 60 days, I saw a huge difference, but then I stopped. You really don't wanna go past three months using hydroquinone. I don't usually go past two months just to be safe. I believe the first time I used this was almost two years ago. So I did 60 days. I stopped for about three months. I did 30 days that I stopped for about three months. And I kind of did that schedule for about a year. And then after that initial time, I was finding that my melasma was coming back much slower. For instance, like I said, I have not used my spot cream in, I'm gonna say almost a year. And now is the first time that I'm starting to see, can you see if I come close? Now is the first time that I'm really starting to see it kind of creep back. And for that reason, I am going to start again in the next couple of days and do um, probably another 30 or 60 day round, especially before it starts to get warm outside. I definitely recommend not using hydroquinone in the summer or at least not starting it for the first time in the summer for sure. So that's kind of my journey with melasma. What I use if you're looking for a good product for melasma, remember Dr. Claire's number one advice with melasma is always try topical before resorting to lasers. It's more cost efficient. They might work so you don't have to resort to a laser where the melasma will just come back a few months later. So if you're looking for something to try, this is what I use and recommend. If you don't want to go the hydroquinone route. I do like the ingredient cystamine. I like Cispera and I like Sente Cystamine Cream. Cystamine also doesn't go bad like hydroquinone does, but it is pretty pricey like the Cispera and the Sente Cream. Um, it's, it's more expensive than this. I do like them as well, but this is just something that works so well for me. So this is my product of choice. Let me know if you have melasma, what you use, if you need help using this or any of the other things that I mentioned, and I will see you next time. Bye.